We got a big day ahead of us today. Today's day two. Yeah. Yesterday couldn't get much content because Corey was on the bag with Yan and she got in, shot five under. It was a tough day for the whole team because Yan was in a playoff with another one of my students, Myung, and they played great and Yan came up on top. So it was good, it was bittersweet. Today's gonna be a lot of fun. I already started the morning. Uh, talked to Ben Griffin this morning. He's in Austin, Texas doing the match play, which is really exciting. He's got a good group, um, playing great golf. Got a lot of things going on. It's gonna get a little windy today here in Arizona. We'll see what we have ahead of us. See you in a bit. Just got off the golf course working with the ladies. Uh, it was a great day. We got a lot of work in before the rain. I saw three people. I saw Heijin Choi, Yan Hong, and Yalimi No today. So it could have been worse. I thought the rain was gonna come at 10. Luckily it came at two o'clock. But we're here, we're gonna go grab some lunch, go check out a buddy's restaurant, Biggs in Peoria. Very excited for that. Excited to be in Peoria, Arizona at Big's American Grill and Bar. Check this out. This is what you order at a sports bar. Unbelievable. Three things you order at a sports bar. The burger, their wings, and some kind of fried food or the sampler in our case. And I'm gonna show you how to do a taste test on a burger, watch. We've got the Biggs Cheeseburger. You always want to take two bites, and they're both quarter bites. <laughs> Leave it there. I have a tot. I love tots. Now that, that's a great burger. I'm not gonna get into the details of the burger because it's so good. Come try it for yourself. Check out spring training. Come to Biggs. That was really good. Fried food time. Fried zucchini. Fried zucchini is all about the texture and the ranch. That's fire. By eating a fried zucchini, you can tell that all the rest of the fried food is good because it's the hardest to get the crispy texture on fried zucchini. And if you know, you know. I'll try a different sauce just for fun. Thousand? No. That's like Chipotle mayo. I thought it was Thousand Island. Chipotle mayo, that's excellent. Man, this is good. I gotta change. All right. My favorite, mozzarella sticks. I'm going traditional marinara sauce. Way too hot. The sauce is hot. So thoughtful of them, they heat up the sauce. How good is that? How often do you get a mozzarella sticks and you get cold marinara sauce? That sucks. This is great. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna eat this. You guys need to get over here. Check out some spring training. Come watch baseball. Check out Biggs. Come try this for yourself. 
And I didn't order the wings because there's only one one of me and probably 25 of you watching. We'll see you in the next video. Day three, we're supposed to take off Tuesday night after the second practice round, but it got rained out in the afternoon, so I got a couple more girls to work with this morning. It's a little cold, it looks like it's gonna rain, I hope it doesn't, but yesterday was pretty cool. The rain gave us an opportunity for us to go to Big's, go check out a friend's restaurant, bar. It was crazy. It was completely packed at three o'clock. But um, flying out this afternoon kind of ruins the schedule back home. But you know what? It's part of the job. And we're going to do nine holes this morning before the Pro Am. Golf course is in unbelievable shape. This is probably the tightest fairways I've seen at a regular LPGA golf tournament, not a major championship. Greens are firm and fast. So it's going to be an exciting championship. Really excited for this tournament to kick off. See you in a bit. shot when the, when the fairways get this tight it's so difficult to get the ball up in the morning when there's a little bit of dew it doesn't get as sticky so it's actually easier when the afternoon it dries up and all this moisture this gets very sticky so there's usually two options to these front pins where the greens elevated and, and you have a front pin is you either run it or hit it high so if you can't hit it high then you've got to run it some of the common mistakes that I see when you're trying to kind of bump it into the hill is Players take too high of a loft, maybe they go from a log wedge to a sand wedge, put it back in their stance, hit down on it from the outside, get too steep, hit it a little bit thin, too much spin, and it's hard to get the ball up the hill. I like, in these situations, when you're running it up the hill, I like to take a lower loft, like a pitching wedge or a nine iron, and almost feel like you go a little bit inside and hit the ball high. It's like a driver it'll act like a, you'll have like a high launch, low spin. So when it kind of hits into the hill, it'll bounce up. So think about that the next time you have these really tight conditions. What happened, James? Unofficial rain delay. It was, it was just misting and all of a sudden it started dumping. So now we're seeking shelter under a tree like a rookie without an umbrella. <laughs> and I'm freezing. I complain about everything. I'm from Southern California, so if it drops below 69 degrees, I'm cold, and if it's above 69 degrees, I'm hot, so. Take whatever I say with a grain of salt. So that was great three days. We just got to the airport, got something to eat. Flight's a little bit delayed. That's okay, because the weather's really bad in LA. I think we'll get home. All the girls are playing pretty well. I think they're happy with where their games are at, so. We'll see what happens. We'll see you in the next event. I think PV. Yeah. Paul's Ferdies. PV Country Club. Great golf course. Out.